midway through the one of the shows, um, Desi took over directing. And as much as I loved him, and I did, it was very difficult to be his assistant because he was under a lot of pressure, and at the time he was drinking pretty steadily. And I just realized that I just couldn't stay there. So I'm jumping ahead of the story, but I went to Sheldon Leonard, who was on the lot, and he was doing the Danny Thomas show, and I said, if you ever get an opening for an assistant director, I'd love to do it. And it turned out his assistant director, who'd been with him all those years, was going on to work on features. So there was an opening. So I segued over on the same lot to working with uh, Sheldon. Hmm. Sheldon Leonard was, as those of people who ever heard him talk, was so erudite and he's so, so smart and had a great sense of style and it was a wonderful storyteller. Uh, you know, he just he just knew how to treat people. He knew how to get the best out of people, and he and Danny Thomas were an amazing combination, because Sheldon would would really work on the heart and soul of a show, and Danny would come up with wonderful jokes. So you you got both, but they were a great combination. And Sheldon was wonderful to work with. I mean, he was he again was just terrific to me. What was his working style? Uh, but mainly script. We would sit around, and it was the first show that I'd worked on. We'd sit around on a Monday and read the script, and the writers were there, or whatever writers were on staff at the time, and and Danny and Marjorie Lord, and maybe Sid Melton, whoever was heavy that week. The kids would go. Then we would sit around, and every, the actor, we'd go over the script line by line by line by line. And actors would say, well, why am I saying this? Could I say this? What if I did this joke? It was amazing. And then Danny, of course, would start pitching jokes and story. So it was the most collaborative method. And by the time you get to the stage, the actors knew the script, and they knew why they were doing certain lines, which... You, today it doesn't happen. The actors will usually say, the writers will say, do you have any thoughts? And unless it's a big star, everybody will say, well, I'm a little uncomfortable doing this or why am I doing that? And leave. And the writers will write it. So then the next day you come to the stage and a lot of these problems have not been talked out. But Sheldon made sure. He ran it. You know, he'd say, no, that's fine. Leave it alone. I like that. But he he listened to everybody, and he was very collaborative uh, with writers. He, that was he knew the show was comedy had to have good writing. 